Annan's a man. And so is Shrish. Once a year, they make a discovery, what it's like to be a woman. Here in Bihar state, like the rest of India, it's Navratri, nine days of celebration and fun. But one person's here to work, national TV journalist Ritu Paduvaj. She's got something more serious on her mind. Women sometimes face a lot of problems. When you perform as a woman, do you face any? A lot. What kind? When we perform as women and go on the stage, men starts to talk strangely and harass us because we are dressed as women. They start talking to us in a vulgar way. Ritu is making a film about gender inequality, the silk ceiling that hangs above so many women in India and its Asian neighbors. Few women in South Asia own any assets. A new UN report claims it's one of the main reasons they're disempowered. But in Bihar, some villagers have transferred land and property to women in return for government help and cash. It's part of a unique Indian experiment in local government called Panchati Raj. To see how great an experiment, meet Kiran Devi, named by her dad after India's top woman cop. She's been elected Sarpanch, or village head. What's more, supposedly backward Bihar has also established Gram Kacheri, or village courts. And this one's run by Kiran. When we do our duties and our work, we don't see any problems. We face whatever the difficulties are. When we do our work and give our ruling, people respect our decisions and agree to what we are saying. Because of this, all problems seem easy to conquer. Back in Delhi, Ritu's trying to beat the deadline for her film on gender inequality. She's been watching more stories from her colleagues in Indonesia. Yeah. In Desa Kaliwaya, Crocodile River Village, some vulnerable women are making a stand. What they're against, not so much overt discrimination, but the language of the law. Actually, there is discrimination in so far as I understand the marriage laws. There it is mentioned that the man is the head of the household, even though there are many women who are head of the household, because in the law, women are only mentioned as housewives. And for a final word for her report, yeah. who better than Ritu herself, a small-town girl from a modest background, yeah. who is breaking through the silk ceiling. One more. Yeah. When men and women are considered equal, then the economy runs efficiently and every individual can work for the development of the country. It is therefore important that India should work to improve the condition of women. The difference between men and women needs to be removed. The work that is being done in this area needs to be speeded up and there is a greater need for intervention at a policy level. This is Ritu Bharadwaj reporting on India's silk ceiling.